Hey, welcome back everyone. This is FRM part one. And today we are talking about a Lehman Brothers case study. Okay, this is a case study from the chapter learning from financial disasters under the book foundations of risk management. So let's study what exactly was the case. Now gi giving you a background about Lehman Brothers, they were uh, Lehman Brothers was an investment bank which was founded in the year 1850. And during the early 2000s, they invested very heavily in the US real estate market. So their business model was much more inclined towards securitization. Okay, so if you don't know what securitization is, I'm going to give you a very simple example here. Okay, so let's say a bank gives out a home loan to these different mortgages okay then what the bank will do is that they will gather a pool of mortgages and they will sell these mortgages to this spv okay also known as a special purpose vehicle now this is a third party legal entity and the bank will transfer these a uh, pool of mortgages to the spv and the spv will then roll out the securities such as bonds and they will roll it to the investors okay so since the spv is rolling out securities that's how it got its name as securitization now here if you look at it the investors are buying these bonds so effectively the bank is simply a, a mediator in which they give out loans they they pool it and they transfer it to them and they get their money back quickly so this is a good process for the bank overall and they can get their money investments back right so the banks will will again give out new home loans to new borrowers then again it will pass it on to spv so on and so forth and they will keep on doing that okay so lehman brothers uh, they were very much into this securitization of the u.s real estate markets now usually what happens in securitization is that the bank will not keep these loans on their balance sheet they will transfer it to the spv but in the case of lehman's they had these securitized assets heavily in their bank balance sheet as well and apart from that they also invested heavily in u.s commercial real estate market as well here we have a very simple hypothetical balance sheet okay and assets is equal to to liabilities plus equity okay this is the fundamental accounting so we have seen the assets of lehman brothers like when you give out loans to the mortgage homeowners it is typically for 10 year more than 10 years right so so very long term in nature now let's talk about the uh, liabilities here where where are they getting the money from so lehman brothers majorly they used to fund uh, they used to get their liabilities or money from short-term funding sources like the repo here so uh, repo is also known as repurchase agreements i'm going to give you a very simple example here okay so consider this this is lehman brothers and there's this another counterparty here okay now what lehman brothers suppose they will give out 100 million dollars worth of government securities to this counterparty and the counterparty in return will give out hundred million dollar cash to Lehman Brothers so now Lehman Brothers via this repo has the money to invest in securitization right so they can carry on with these things but the problem is that these repo are very short-term funding sources so for example if this particular repo uh, example that, that we have taken let's say that this is for two weeks okay so this contract the rep repurchase agreement contract is for two weeks now after two weeks lehman brothers will again have to buy back these government securities right so when after two weeks lehman will go uh, to this counterparty instead of giving 100 millions to this counterparty lehman will give 101 million dollars in return for this government securities and this counterparty will uh, will give back this government securities now over here lehman is actually paying 101 million instead of 100 million dollars right so this extra 1 million difference is the profit or the interest for this counterparty okay so this is a very simple example of uh, repo transactions now typically these repurchase 
agreements or the repo agreements are very short term funding sources okay they can range from one day to maximum three months now have a look here the liabilities majorly consist of these short term funding sources and the assets you have is of long term and on top of that the when we talk about the leverage yes the uh, the balance sheet was highly leveraged and also one more thing here if you look at the leverage of uh, lehman brothers that was very much high for example it was 31 is to 1 so that means 31 is to 1 so 31 uh, 31 times asset and 1 times equity so this also has to be 31 as I said assets is equal to liabilities plus equity so you can imagine this is 30 so you can imagine having this much of debt liabilities is debt right this is something that this is the money that you have to give give back to the creditors so when you have such a huge leverage such a huge liabilities so this was their core funding right by get the money from get the debt from the so this was the core funding strategy of lehman brothers get the money from the short-term sources invest in long-term assets such as securitization and illiquid uh, real estate assets okay and that too with a very high amount of leverage now it's a very common phenomenon for banks to take out leverage okay investment banks they take deposits but the core funding strategy of lehman brothers was to take short term funding sources and invest that money in securitization which is very illiquid and at the same time for a long period of time i mean home loans are definitely longer period of times right so this core funding strategy was not something uh, good on lehman's side and during the second half of 2007 the u.s housing bubble had burst and the subprime mortgage and this securitization market was in deep trouble so as a result people stopped lending money to lehman's the confidence of the people in the securitization securities went down and many of lehman's counterparties like we have here they started to demand more collateral they even reduced the exposure the money that they gave here in cash and some counterparties they even stopped giving them these money so with this kind of a funding model their equity started to decrease they no longer had the equity to pay off the debt or the liabilities even their assets they were falling down in value right the majority of the assets were mortgage loans right so when you have such illiquid and mortgage loans which were falling in value at that point in time the assets value also fell down and now when times are tough whenever there is a crisis situation companies look out for the most important thing and that is liquidity so liquidity risk is something that when you try to liquidate the assets there is a possibility that the underlying will fall in value and you will get less money than you expected and and when you sell your assets at a fire sale prices that is known as a trading liquidity specifically we call that as a trading liquidity the other type of liquidity risk that lehman faced was funding liquidity risk remember funding is something that you have liabilities to pay you have debt to pay but you know you no longer have people to give you money right so remember they had short-term funding sources people stopped giving them money so they even faced this funding liquidity and with this business model lehman brothers was forced to file for bankruptcy because they no longer had equity their assets was falling down in value and they couldn't pay off the liabilities okay so hopefully you now have a clear idea as to why lehman brothers was forced to file for bankruptcy now in the next video we'll be talking about the ltcm and mgrm case study so make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel okay so thank you so much for your time and you have a great day ahead